by Governor Newsom is having a big impact on sex workers who use the streets for business and residents who say those streets are no longer safe. I'm scared. I'm scared to death here. Dalbergia and Vesta in Barrio Logan. It's known for its proximity to the naval base and its endless supply of sex workers. This resident of the area wanted to keep their identity secret out of fear for their safety, telling me they've been threatened numerous times. It's just horrendous, the things. I've had girls run into my yard after being attacked by guys. I've had, they even go after guys. There was an old man walking his dog one night and four of them, they were high and intoxicated and they went after him claiming that he ripped them off when it was the other way around. They were trying to rip him off and he was scared, scared crapless, you know. That's because Governor Newsom signed SB 357, something called the Safer Streets for All Act. Now, the bill, authored by State Senator Scott Weiner from San Francisco, no longer makes loitering without a lawful purpose illegal, meaning if someone appears to be engaging in a transaction for sex work, police cannot take action. If Governor Newsom changes the law to where you can't bother them, then what do you expect law enforcement to do? They ride by, they see the girls walking with barely nothing on, and yet and still they can't stop them. They can't stop them and put them in the car and say, hey, you're arrested for walking around with a little or nothing on. The police department can only do so much. Their hands are tied. They have uh, the letter of the law that they have to follow. So if they can't arrest people, then it's like a mute point to keep calling the police. Senator Weiner says the law helps the transgender black indigenous people of color known as BPOC. But others say SB 357, which is supported by the ACLU, is a step towards something else and a backward step for safer streets. This message, the narrative that he took forward, it's a very sexy narrative right now, which is law enforcement is discriminating against transgender women, and in particular, BPOC transgender women. And nobody's going to go for that. And nobody wants that. And I totally agree. Nobody wants that. Um, and But see, when what he has going for him is he's riding that wave and taking that taking that at riding that wave all the way to full decriminalization. And if you read any of the briefs that the ACLU has written, the ACLU is a proponent of full decriminalization. And they believe that you improve public safety and public health when you fully decriminalize sex work. This is going to uh, really cause a, a heightened demand for sex and the people that are going to be preyed upon to fulfill that demand and supply that demand are going to be vulnerable people, which in our country are disproportionately black and Latino. Local lawmakers are also turning a deaf ear to residents living near Dalbergia. One who says they've written to Governor Newsom and Mayor Todd Gloria. I've written to them too. I've written to the governor of California. I've written to the mayor. Um, I've written to my council members. I, I'm an active participant in my community when it comes to reaching out to, to my representatives. But uh, I get the um, generic re response from them. Thank you for voicing your opinions, blah, blah, but they never mentioned exactly what I was voicing my opinion about. There is overwhelming research connecting prostitution to human trafficking. A report by the National Institute of Justice calls it the front door to sex slavery. Coming up next week, I'll be taking a look at how SB 357 actually helps sex traffickers exploit their victims. Ginger Jeffries, KUSI News.